Hi, Langji Mathematics here. In this one hour revision part one, I'm going to talk about three things. Number one, interest. Number two, shares. Last one, return on investment. So let's grab a few pieces of paper, calculators and your pen and let's do it. Now, so everyone, let's start writing it. Now, the first thing is, the first thing is, I want you to write the word interest. Okay, write the word interest. And once you write the word interest, right, I'm going to straight go into the informations that I compile already and make it into your form five kind of revision. Because during form, form three, right, you will say something like, teacher, I remember interest got like a few types, right, or like simple, la, compound, la. then loan got interest some more, but two different categories. Why? La? Because your simple interest and compound interest is about receiving the interest. And then as for the loan related Interest is about you paying the interest to the bank. But anyhow, the calculation is the same. Okay. So we're going to go into like the interest related stuff. And the first thing being the simple interest related formula. So can you put simple interest? You can start writing it already. Okay. So simple interest, the formula, what is it about? The formula, I'm not sure whether you remember or not. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you remember it. Mm, come try. What's your simple interest formula? Nice la, okay. So interest equals to PRT. What is P? Principal or maybe deposit. R being the rate. T being the term. Term means how many years. Okay, just a quick one, everyone. Remember 20% indicates 0 0.2. How about 2%? Tell me in decimal point, what is that? Yes, fantastic, 0 0.02. How about 100%, everyone? Simple, right? One. Uh, so you know all these things. Lah. Okay, then we have another one called compound interest. Okay, compound interest, this thing. So later, I will go in-depth on what is compound interest. In case you forget really later, you can, you can ask me, teacher, what the hell is that? But I will give you the formula first. And what's the formula for compound interest? By the way, there will be formula in your SPM. It's given really on. Okay, it's given ready. So now let's go. Let's go. Your compound interest related formula, it starts with NV. Come, tell me what is NV. But don't worry, Anna, because uh, once you know how to do right, you don't, don't even need the formula, right? Uh, so I will, I will go through it. Okay, so you all managed to like remember it. Nice. Don't, then you don't need the formula sheet anymore. Yes, what is NV? Come. Thank you. MV stands for matured value. Ah, matured value meaning what? It means, let's say a particular FD. Okay, so for example, FD, fixed deposit. So you, you're going to place your principal of 10,000, for example, and you place it inside and you plan to save it. Okay, plan, plan to save it for three years. So after three years, the total amount, including interest compounded inside, that's your matured value. Ah, that's the one. Okay, so what's the formula for this thing? I like, wow, Jing Pro, huh? haven't say already give answer. Next level already, Xue Pao. Okay, come. So, come, Aina, come. come. <laughs> okay, now, so the answer is P, open bracket. Okay, P stands for principle, of course. Now I'm going to say the one. Ah, the formula is about. P bracket one. Hey, what is one? Ah, uh, what is one? One means one hundred percent, ah. Uh, and the one hundred percent is actually representing the principal amount. Ah, uh, representing the principal amount. Then you add up with R divided by N bracket N T. Then students scratch their head. Teacher, cannot lah. What kind of thing is this? Okay, I will show you. Okay, I will show you. And simultaneously, I will send you like. Uh, the video that I made it before. Okay, so I sent to everybody. Ding! Okay, send for fun only. Okay, so come back, come back. Now, then this is about the two uh, interests where it's about receiving it, you receiving the interest. And next, we have another one where it's about loan-related interest. And loan-related related interest or basically is about simple interest, you know. You're going to use the PRT thing. But I'm going to change a bit. And under this loan category, most of the time, they are asking about, hey, can you find me the total repayment uh, of the loan? The total repayment of the loan, including interest. So what is that formula? 
I show you, I show you, you see whether you understand or not. P plus PRT. Everyone, let me ask every, uh, ask your, your, your tell me, uh, what is P again? I know P is the principal, right? But in loan point of view, it means what? P is the principal, yes. Uh, so in loan point of view, what is the P? P stands for uh, the amount that you're going to pin jump from the bank. You go bank there, a hey, bank, I want to pin jump uh, 10,000. Uh, that's the principal amount. Okay, can uh, so the starting value, uh, starting value. Then the PRT thing, it will be the interest. Uh, so this is the principal and this is the interest. So this, this interest, you have these three very important parts that you have to know. So later I will go through like uh, the, the questions about these three parts. Uh. Then the second part that you need to know under consumer mathematics, the second part, uh, by the way, these are form three related stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm writing it over here. Then the second thing is you have to know something called the shares. Okay, the shares. So everyone, uh, tell me another name for share. Mm, another name for share. Okay. Ah uh, yes, I know it's Saham. Okay, Saham is about the. Uh, it's about it's about it's about it's about uh, the, uh it, it's it's BM version, right? Okay, shares. Now shares are. Uh, now let me tell you lah. Uh, stocks, shares. Ah. Uh, then under form three category, we don't really go super in depth. We just categ categorize in two different uh, in two different categories. The two different categories will be just a normal shares that you're gonna buy it yourself. And the second part is about unit trust. Everyone, supposedly, uh, these two things are two different stuff, lah, but under our form three category, it's roughly the same thing. Uh, question wise also the same thing if they say shares they see unit trust uh, same thing uh, in form three categories uh, it's just that what's the difference the difference will be share you buy it yourself unit trust who buy it for you professional manage for you uh, unit trust you're right uh, professional manage for you you just tell the professional hey professional I'm going to invest in shares uh, can you send, settle for me okay I settle for you uh, so that's the one then under shares, right, you will say something like, oh, I repeat, uh, uh, if let's say they talk about shares, unit trust under our, our syllabus, right, calculation-wise, everything is the same. Uh, it's just that we don't go really in depth what's the definition of unit trust and uh, like shares, all those things. No. Uh, so it's the same calculation. And under this kind of uh, share-related question, right, um, there is a few, few types of like dividends, how to calculate all those things, but that one kind of easier and later when I do the questions with you. But the important one, it's about this thing called cost per unit. And students kind of, you know what? They, they just too, they, they get too worried, you know, and because you, you have to handle so many subjects, you know, and your tends to, your tends to what, you know, tends to uh, focus too much on the exact word. Teacher, why this question didn't write cost per unit one? But instead of that, write other names where it seems a bit similar, but I think it's not the same. Uh, let me tell you, uh, cost per unit, you learn it in form one before. For example, for example, now listen up carefully, uh, everyone. If, if uh, I buy two G2 pens, I buy two G2 pants, uh, uh, the two G2 pants, right, cost RM 10 ringgit. What is the cost per unit for one G2 pen? Easy, right? <laughs> RM 5, do you notice something simple where even primary, you understand it before? Then uh, this cost per unit, if let's say I go real in depth, uh, if I go real in depth, I'm going to tell you a story together with this very important thing. Come, you circle this one. Huh? Together with a very important thing called ROI. ROI can happen in both sides. Huh? Uh, so this ROI, I'm going to ask everyone, see whether you get correct or not. What is ROI? I don't want the formula. I just want the name only. Formula, I'm pretty sure you forget already. Huh? <laughs> okay. Hey, hey. The previous two class said the same thing I tell you. Later, I'll tell you what is that same wrong name that student tell, tell, uh, told me. You see, you see, now three versus three, six students uh, uh, send me the answer already. Three students get this same answer and uh, four students get the same answer now. 
Ah, uh, Rina. Ah, you know you're wrong, right? <laughs> okay, then the other. Uh, okay, five, five versus four. You know, come more. Okay, never mind. But never mind. A lot of students, I don't know why. Uh, ROI they link to this answer. You know. Okay, now the wrong answer, right? It's rate of interest. Cannot lah. Where got rate of interest one? People say interest rate one ma. Where got rate of interest? Okay. Now, so ROI stands for what? Alama. But it's okay lah. You all forget really. It's, it's normal. Okay. So the answer, yeah, Rina, correct. The answer is return on your investment. Return on your investment. Return of investment. Uh, so it depends on how you read it. Lah. Return on, return off, same thing. Right? Uh, I repeat, uh, return on your investment. Return of your investment. Your investment. Okay, right? So I'm going to use one story to support this cost per unit and ROI thing. Okay, now let me tell you. Uh, see ya? Uh? Okay. Everybody, the story comes in already, the story. It's about cost per unit. Okay, where you have to use it in your share related questions. And uh, simultaneously, I will, I will design it into um, ROI question as well. Okay, number one, everyone, if let's say you want to write it, you can write it. If you don't want to write it, just take a calculator and type the answer for me, can really. Okay, number one, who is, who is Liang Jie? Okay, Liang Jie is not a tutor. Liang Jie is a businessman. Uh, so I write it over here. Liang Jie is a businessman. So story time. Every time, huh? So Liang Jie is a businessman, okay? Businessman that sells what? Okay, I tell you. Sell pilot G2 pen. Okay, come. Everyone, tell me. Nah, sassy or it. <laughs> okay, come. Tell me pilot G2 pen uh, cost how much? Uh, what's the cheapest price you managed to get before? I don't know now. Uh, whether now is like popular among you or not. During my year 20 years ago, right, is like super popular in form in form form one, form two, up to form five uh, last time. Super popular. And the cheapest price last time, uh, four ringgit fifty cent. I don't know now worth how much. Uh, uh, last time is already four ringgit fifty cent, you know. I think now is around five, right? I'm not sure. Uh. But four ringgit fifty cent uh, is like you have to really go go like quite far to get it on you know like last time i go Kera only i managed to get this this price and around here is like 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 firing it firing get 20 cents now it's still firing get 20 cents it's like good thing uh, they didn't inflate uh. good uh. uh hey pilot pen super popular you know i i know now like the mechanical pencil the shaker pen is still very popular but g2 pen i'm not sure uh. last time it's like g1 i uh, want more it called like g tech is it i don't know i forget already but G2 is like super popular. G3 cannot. Yeah, okay. But G2 is like super popular. And now, right, because it's like super, super expensive and popular, and I replace it with something else, uh, Pentel, Energel, best, but still expensive. <laughs> and then after that, I use Apple Pen already. Way. Okay, now, come back. Okay, now I'm going to say, uh, I'm a businessman. Huh? I'm going to sell Pilot G2 Pen. We, eh, uh, Aya, you are, you are new students from which branch? Eugen 9, do you have this new book? Eh, this previous month book? No, right? Uh, come, send me a message. 017-381-7670 later. Uh, later you send to me. Uh, so temporary, you just take a piece of paper and write it first. Uh, then I can fly you the PDF. Okay, live, continue. I uh, continue with the, with the story. Uh. So I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a businessman. Okay, I'm going to sell uh, Pilot G2 pen. So I'm going to buy a lot of units, probably not. Okay, I'm going to buy 500 units of G2 pen and then eventually sell it. And don't forget, I'm super china. I want to sell Profit Kau Kau. Later, you will see what happened. Okay, 500 units, right? Okay, because last time, uh, no internet, uh, I cannot really contact. Okay, so I have to travel down to like every shop's just to check out all the price. So I don't waste my time. So once I go into the, the shop, uh, I notice that uh, the price okay that I buy already. So the first, the first 
uh, stationery shop that I go into, it's 99 Speed Mart. <laughs> 99 Speed Mart. It's not stationery shop at all. Okay. Uh, the story you want to copy or don't want to copy also can because it's 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 about um the idea of cost per unit. Uh, then another one is about ROI. Uh, very easy to understand. Right? Okay. So 99 Speed Mart, when I go inside, right? I go inside and check the price. Wow, RM5 ringgit. I'm like, okay, la, 5 ringgit. Okay, la, buy 100 units. La. Then, then 99 Speedmart says what? Okay, la, I got 100 units. I sell to you. La. Okay, so I just buy it. Okay, 100 units. Okay, then after that, I say that I need 500, uh, 500 units, right? So I go to another, another uh, shop. So I check. So that shop is called uh, what? Called uh, Aina. Aina Stationery uh, Syndrome Berhad. Okay, SSB. Okay, Aina Stationery Syndrome Berhad. So I go inside and I see, eh, Aina is there. Eh, Aina, cheap a bit la. Okay, sell cheaper. So Aina say, okay la. Sell cheaper to you la. 3 ringgit, 20 cents la. So I say, wow, so cheap la. Eh, you got 400 units or not? Aina say, cannot la. I still want to do business on. Okay, I sell to you 100 units. Okay la, 150 la. So I take 150 units. Then I say, okay, good. So I, I need another uh, a few more minutes, a uh, few more units uh, to, to complete my 500s. Okay, so now I'm going to go into another one. So I'll go into another shop called Hero Mart. Hero Mart, like famous, like cheap things. Uh, I mean price. <laughs> okay, cheap price thing. Uh. So I go inside, then Hero Mart says, uh, yeah, I got 100 units there. Okay, but I'm selling for and get 20 cents. So I say, okay, la, I take, I take all. Okay, everyone, I left how many units I had to buy? Mm. I need another 150 units, right? Okay, so now I go to the super cheap one, Pemborong price, Maidin. So I go inside. So Maidin say, hey, so happened I got ngam ngam 150 units. Oh. But I sell quite quite expensive. La. Find get 20 cents, you want not? I say, I, okay, la, I don't want to travel already. Take off. Okay, now, the thing comes in already. I managed to achieve 500 units already, yeah. Huh? 500 units already, you know. What is the average? Okay, my question comes in. What is the average cost per unit of my G2 pen? Okay, come, calculate. I want to see anyone do error. I'm going to laugh very loud. Super loud. I like I'm going to take my calculator and try it out, huh? Oh. Got one student put 4.4. Oh, okay. Who put 4.4? Come and tell me, I tell you, huh? 4.4, I love very loud one, serious. If you get 4.4, you better change, huh? Okay, so far, Alicia, Jaying, and Sinru get me uh, one same answer, but different from the 4.4, nah. Okay, come, more. So I'm going to explain a bit, huh? 4.4 answer comes from... 5 ringgit plus 3 ringgit 20 cents plus 4 ringgit 20 cents plus 5 ringgit 20 cents. These four price you plus together divide by 4. Gone. If you do that way, right? Provided if all the given units, it's even. Even meaning are same. Okay? Consistent number. Like 100 units, 100 units, 100 units, 100 units, then can. But this one, different units. Like one is 100 units, the other one is 150, then so on. So, the only, uh, no, not the only, the correct way to handle this average cost per unit is by getting the total amount that I use to purchase all the G2 pens. Uh, so I'm going to add one by one. So I'm going to add the first one. Uh, 99 speed might, the total price. This is the total. Uh, okay, the total price. It will be 500. And the other one is like Aina stationery, 300. 320 times, uh, eh, 320 cents times 150. The answer is 480. 
Then it says 420, and the other one is 5.2 times 150, and the answer 780. So when you total up, right, everyone, the amount that I used to buy everything, 2,180. So now, tell me what's the cost per unit. RM2180 divided by 500 units of pen. So you divide by 500 units. Your answer is RM4.36 per unit of G2 pen. Uh, this is the average cost per unit. So meaning, uh, as a businessman point of view, right? The stocks that I have now, all the stocks that I have uh, per unit of pen worth 4 and get 36 cents. Ah, so understand the idea of cost per unit, right? Yeah, nah? Nah. So this one, you keep it. We straight away hantam this cost per unit related question. Ah, see, ah? Nah, our eye will come in a while. So let's go into one question. It relates to this cost per unit one. Now, nah, everyone, let's move down. Nah? Let's move down and look at question number three. Come. Question number three. Now, nah, I read out. Ah? It's about shares, you know. And you have to use this cost per unit related information. Okay, Inche Henry consistently invests 3,000 every month for six months. Okay, for six months, uh, every month, 3,000. I repeat, uh, every month, RM, 3,000. Be careful with the words given and the, and the information given like 3,000. Okay, every month for six months. The price of unit trust, everyone, unit trust, can you tell me, suppose in your syllabus is the same as what? We don't really go into like the exact definition. We just need to know like unit trust basically is the same as, what is that word? Shares, nah, your shares. Okay, but I repeat, uh, in real life, shares and unit trust, two different things, uh, but they have the same function. Uh, you, you, it's for investment purpose. Lah. Okay, of course, uh, just in depth a bit, unit trust to be exact, we need to pay like extra commissions to the person that manage your funds. Okay, shares you handle yourself or not? No need lah. Uh, okay, yes, you are right, Jinwei. Okay, so uh, but anyhow, they are shares. Uh, I says that one manage the professionals. You appoint professionals to manage for you. The other one is that you manage yourself using your own uh, uh what's it called? Share account. Okay, shares account. Okay, so come back. Then they say that hey, all the monthly prices is there. January, one ringgit 50 cents, February, one ringgit 62 cents, and stuff. Okay, now everyone, can you tell me in Chet Henry, every month gonna throw 3,000 inside? You no. Know? Every month, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000. Can you tell me what strategy is in Chet Henry using? This one, extra one. Just wanna see whether you still record this or not. Start with C. Or maybe sometimes the, 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 the strategy start with A. Ah, what is that strategy called? Of course, you are not, uh, I mean, in Inche Henry is not um, applying this concept of throwing all the eggs or maybe invest all the egg, put all the egg into one basket. Inche Henry is not using this. Okay, yes, uh, a very simple way of uh, explaining it will be separating your investment, but in your syllabus, they mention this word, cost averaging strategy. Can you write down? This one extra one, uh, just to tell you, uh, in case uh, they ask. Uh, so, Inche Henry is applying a method called cost averaging strategy, or maybe averaging cost strategy. It depends on how, because different book, they have different way of uh, Presenting the presenting the, 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 the strategy's name, uh, cost averaging, averaging cost, same thing. Like. Okay, now, now back to number one. They say complete the table in the answer space. Everybody, January worth one ringgit 50 cents, right? Inche Henry invested 3,000. How many units of unit trust or maybe the shares that Inche Henry, eh? Inche Henry, holding owns okay in j uh, in j henry owns okay in j henry invest three thousand inside i know alicia thank you so every unit of shares okay unit trust worth one hundred fifty cents three thousand as in rm divide by rm one hundred fifty cents the answer is ngam ngam two thousand units so in january 
in January, Inchit Henry holding 2,000 units of shares, uh, unit, unit trust. Okay, can you quickly use like one minute, get the rest of the units for me? Like the February, March, April, May, June, come quick. Okay, so I'm going to do it as well. Uh. Okay, I'm going to do it as well and see, uh, I'm pretty sure some student will ask me like, like, like one very important thing is about rounding off. Huh? Go ahead, do it, do it first. So eventually I will add up everything. Okay, you check it out as your answer as compared to my answer. Okay, everybody. I believe some of the figures you get something like, uh, I just simply say one of it. Uh, let's say 1851.5, for example. Do you run off to 1582? If I say it's like 0 0.5, 0 0.7, or 0 0.8, do you round off? Why don't you round off the, the figure? Why don't you round off? The reason being, you have only a budget of 3,000 per month. 3,000 per month. Okay, 3,000 per month. Huh? Do you have extra, maybe a few ringgit, or maybe a few cents, I'm not sure about it, to buy that extra one unit? You already say you're going to budget 3,000. Why are you going to extra pay it, right? That's the reason, okay? So that's why you can't, can't even afford another extra to buy it because you budgeted 3,000 for it. Understand that? Uh, although some of you might say, teacher, 3,000 only, ma. okay? So I will say that 3,000 for some people also quite, you know? So you cannot say like this. Huh? Uh, so how if the figure I changed to 3 million? Gone, no? right? Uh, so cannot say like this. Huh? So that's why you have to ngam ngam. Uh, so if I say extra by point something, uh, you cannot round off as well because you can't afford that extra. Okay, because of the figure given. So because you budgeted 3,000. Uh, so cannot simply do that. Okay, now, so now you know that eh, Inche Henry own, owns, owns 12215 units of shares. Uh, okay, now, now the second question comes in. Who is the second person? Inche Motu. Uh, everyone, two seconds silent. We're going to separate nicely. Uh, don't read, don't read, uh, uh, don't 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 mix up the names, you know. Just now it's Inche Henry. Uh. This one is Inche Mutu. Uh. Okay, Inche Henry applied cost averaging strategy to spread out the investment to six months, you know, every month 3,000. But Inche Mutu purchased 10,000 unit shares at once in January. This is called lump sum purchase. Uh, this is called lump sum purchase. Okay, one lump sum purchase, sekali goose, boom. Okay, invest everything, throw everything into one basket. Okay, so everyone, can you tell me January how much is the price? Yes, you're right. January is RM 1.50 per unit. Now, listen carefully. Uh. Agree or not, Inche Mutu's cost per unit is exactly 1 ringgit 50 cents. Okay, I repeat. Uh. Inche Henry's cost per unit for the unit trust, or maybe share lah, is one ringgit 50 cents. Obviously, because one lump sum purchase, the price fixed already on one ringgit 50 cents. Okay, just like if, if I mentioned my G2 situation, uh, let's say I didn't go any other place. I just go to Aina stationery uh, shop. I say that Aina, please uh, sell everything to me. Uh, sell everything to me, four ringgit 20 cents, 500 units. Uh, so my cost per unit will be four ringgit 20 cents. Ah, but what happened is I choose to spread out. I choose to spread out, right? Ah, so that will be cost averaging. So can you see the G2 situation is the same thing? Yeah, so now between the purchase of shares by Inchit Henry and Inchit Mutu, whose strategy is more unprofitable? Who, whose one is like more not worthy? La? That's the meaning. Explain your answer. Explanation will be in calculation format and I will be using cost per unit to prove. So let me write Inchit Mutu first. Huh? So Inchit Mutu, very obvious already. You don't have to even do any calculation. The cost per unit huh, is RM, one ringgit 50 cents per unit. Okay, per unit. So how about Inchit Henry? Everyone, Inchit Henry cost per unit, how much? Inchit unit cost per unit, how much? Number one, Remember my G2 situation, I get my total, uh, total uh, cost. 
the total amount that I used to buy all the G2 pens, 500 unit of G2 pens. And same applies here. You have to get the total investment value that Inchate Henry used to purchase all the shares. So what is the total amount that Inchate Henry used to purchase all the shares? Uh, what is that unit? Uh, what's that price? Mm. Every month, 3,000 for six months. Jinwei, thank you. 18,000. So 18,000 divided by how many units of shares Inchate Henry owns? One, two, two, one, five units, Prynod. So can you see it's RM per unit, cost per unit, saw that or not? One, eight, zero, 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 divided by one, two, two, one, five. Your answer is RM, 1.47 per unit of shares. So everyone, can you tell me now, whose one is not so profitable? Unprofitable in this case. Obviously, Inchek Mutu's one. Why? Le? Because Inchek Mutu purchased the share one ringgit 50 cents. Uh, one ringgit 50 cents. Okay. Can, uh, so I repeat the answer. Uh, the answer you will write. Therefore, uh, you write it yourself. Therefore, Inchek Mutu's strategy is more unprofitable. And of course, the explanation it's the calculation above. Okay, now, so everyone, now let's go to ROI. Let's go to ROI. So I go up, go up, go up. Uh, but there is one thing where students might, uh, there's one thing where students might, might ask me to, uh, ask me about it on teacher, but a bit not fair. Uh, Inche, Mutu, Inche Mutu total invest, investment is only uh, 15,000 and Inche Henry is 18,000. And moreover, the unit's owner is also not, not fair, right? Um, anyhow, it's about the budgeting problem. So Inche Henry managed to uh, comes out a total of budget of 18,000. Uh, then as for Inche Mutu, total, total you can see is like 15,000 only, right? So we, we restrict to the budget and by using the budgets to calculate the average price per unit to compare the so. Uh, so we are comparing using the limited budget. Uh, so anyhow, when you compare, compare stuff, right? You go back to the, to the budget. Okay. Yeah, so everybody, everybody, we will go back to the to the information above. Okay, information above, and now I'm gonna go up to the business. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about ROI. Okay, ROI. My cost per unit of the G2 pen in my in my storeroom, uh, okay, my stock, four hundred thirty six per unit. Okay, that's my that's my cost lah, cost, or maybe the original price. And I say just now, it's very cheap and I want super cow cow profit. So I say that I'm going to sell it. Okay, my selling price come. My selling price is RM 6 ringgit 30 cents. Ah. I want you all to try it out. Try to get me your ROI. Return on investment in percentage. Ah, come. So while you're doing your ROI, right? When you're trying up, so like what I mentioned, try not to too focus. Okay, too focus on the on the on the on the formulas or what. Instead of that, we understand return of investment is actually a what. So we can interpret return on investment in, in like a few categories and you know, a few type of uh, uh, questions where you've tried it before. Okay, so while you're doing right, uh, while you're doing halfway right, so I'm gonna say right, it can be, it can be uh interpreted in in three different cases. Case number one, ROI return on investment is the same as percentage of profit. It's the same thing. ROI is the same as percentage of increase in price. In price. Okay, ROI is also the same as percentage of um, return. Basically means percentage of return of in the investment. Okay, and return, you know, it will be something that you gain. Okay, something that you gain. 
uh, your bonus, your dividend, everything, uh, whatever, whatever things that you gain, uh, your profits. Okay, now, so, now let me interpret it for you, uh, you see, uh, now everyone, see, in, in, in business and man point of view, uh, let's say, from my point of view, instead of referring it as an investment, I refer it as a percentage of profit to my, to my partners. So I tell them, hey, our percentage of profit for G2 pen, uh, G2 pen, the profit, the profit inside here, obviously it will be how much time? Tell me, what's the profit? Let me calculate using per unit, okay? You want to use total also, can I run? Uh, so like Aina is using total, right? I'll be using per unit. I'm using per unit, huh? Okay, so um six ringgit thirty cents minus minus four ringgit thirty six per unit. My profit is RM one ringgit ninety four. Cry not one ringgit ninety four. Uh, of course, if you times with five hundred, then you get nine hundred seven seventy. That will be the total. It's the same thing. Don't worry. It's the same thing. Okay, now so I'm using per unit, huh? Then if I say, hey, what is the increase in price? Increase. Oops. The increase uh, in price is the same thing. Uh? Right now, what is the return per unit? The return per unit, uh, the return per unit is also RM one ringgit ninety four. Right now, so do you notice? In order to get a percentage for all these things, you get to you need to what? You need to do the same thing. You know, you need to do the same thing. One point nine four, which is the everyone return on investment actual formula. It's initial, sorry, it's your total return. The original formula is the same as this one. Huh? Okay. Divide by initial investment. Uh, initial investment times 100%. And your total return, one ringgit 94 for one unit. Huh? And then divide by the original price, four ringgit 36. If let's say you are using total, you will put 2180. Ah, uh, times with 100% divide by 4.36 times 100%. 1.94 divided by 4.36 times 100%. Your answer is 44.5%. So my return on investment, either you say total or maybe per unit is the same answer. Right? Uh, it's 44.5% for my G2. Uh, so is this investment worthwhile, everyone? Is the percentage high enough or not? It depends on how you interpret it. Uh, depends on how you interpret it. Now, I tell you something, uh, everyone. Agree or not, you think about it uh, before you answer me. Uh, agree or not, actually, uh, your interest rate from your fixed deposit, it's also return on investment. You get what I mean? And do you notice, why not I check instantly for you? Huh? Okay, let's check it now. Today today is like August, uh, 4th of August, right? 2021. Let's see our, our fixed deposit interest rate. Our fixed deposit interest rate, uh, how much is it? 2021. Wow, peso. Everyone, uh, what I see from Google, lah. Uh, uh, so far I see, okay, uh, the first one I see here is like RHB, RHB Bank, the FD best rate for 12 months, 2.5%. 2.5% for one month, per gila. Okay, then imagine if you sell G2 pen, but of course you have to do some marketing, uh, you have to sell to your friend, hey, you want to buy G2 pen, not? so you, get, you, you need to work a bit, uh, so you get 44.5%. Uh, which one you want? <laughs> so see what you want. Uh. Okay, so that will be the return investment. So see how you interpret it. Be because ROI is, like, is a general general stuff. It can be ROI in, in your property amount. So let's say I buy this I buy this property, let's say. Uh, I buy the house that I'm staying now for 500,000. And 10 years later, 10 years later, uh, 10 years later, right? I'm going to sell it at 1 million. So what is the ROI? You get the difference, then divide by 500,000, then times 100%, then you get it. Uh, so the ROI is 100%. Uh, 
Ah, uh, okay, got it. Ah, uh, but you have to know after ten years, you know. So the ten years, ah, uh, you divide by what? You divide by, divide by ten years. So per year, ten percent. Ten percent. Ah, so it depends on how you interpret it, lah. Uh. Ah, uh, so imagine if let's say you sell G two pen, ah, uh, you consistently sell it, ah, uh, every month. So you return forty four point five percent, forty four point five percent. Wow, nice. Okay, so see how you how you look at it. So another one will be your ROI can be more than one hundred percent. Right? You don't tell me your gain. Ah, uh, you want to restrict in hundred percent. So what you earn? Ah, uh, your return on investment percentage. Ah, uh, it can be one thousand percent. It can be two thousand percent. Ah, so how see how you market it now? Uh. Okay, now right? we try ROI now. Ah. Uh. We try ROI now, ah. Uh. Okay, everybody, where's the ROI question that I'm going to do with you? The ROI question. Okay, we will start off with the first question above about interest. Then we slowly see whether there's ROI there or not. Okay, come. Question number one. Richard made a loan. Oh, made a loan of fourteen thousand from the bank. Ah, uh, tell me the initial. Fourteen thousand stands for what? Just tell me the first alphabet can already. Fourteen thousand is the P. Yes, the principal. The bank charges a flat rate. Ah, uh, flat means simple, lah. Uh, sim, not not simple as in the question. Simple, as in the formula. It's about simple interest. Ah, uh. flat interest rate of six point two five per annum. Oi, per annum means per year. Then six point two five. Nobody put six point two five over one hundred. We put zero point zero six two five. If the repayment period is two years, hey, repayment period two years means ah uh, your loan it's for two years on you know. So your interest you're gonna you're gonna do you're gonna calculate two years, ah? Huh? Calculate richest amount of monthly instalment. Okay, the monthly instalment we leave it first. Let's get the total loan that you're gonna repay to bank, including interest, huh? So your total loan, including interest, including interest, ah, huh? or maybe the total repayment of the loan, ah, huh? it will be P plus P R T. Fourteen thousand plus with fourteen thousand times with zero point zero six two five times with two. Get me the final figure, come quick. Ah, uh, Jingxian, remember to always put zero point zero six two five. Ah, we have to, ah, uh, we have to slowly use to the decimal. Yeah. So you'll be fourteen thousand. So you'll be fifteen thousand. Eh, scare me, Aina. I think you actually put zero point six two five. You missed out the zero because I did the error. So, ah, uh, you try and see. <laughs> okay, this is the total we pay back to the bank. You don't, you cannot say like bank. You pinch up fourteen thousand from bank, then you pay back bank fourteen thousand. Not fair, ma. Bank pinch up you money, wo, but they charge interest very high, lah. Sad. They give you little interest like fixed deposit two point five percent, but this one they give you year. Okay, so the next one, ah, uh, the next one, the repayment period is two years, ah, uh, everyone, two years, ah, uh, two years equivalent to how many months? So my monthly installment, my monthly installment, it will be one five seven five zero divided by twenty four. Thank you, divided by twenty four. So per month, you have to repay six five six point two five. So that's the per month, okay, per month figure. Okay, come quick. Next, next question B. Question B. This one is about loan, ah, uh, loan, and it's about interest. Okay, it's about the repayment period per ah uh, as for as for monthly end. Okay, B. At the beginning. In the beginning. A, beginning of. In the. Justin save, twelve thousand. A. What is twelve thousand? Come initial initial like. Yes, correct. Okay, correct. That's the initial P principal. Okay, principal. In the savings account with an interest rate of ah yeah zero point zero two five. Nobody going to see that one. Ah, uh, be careful. Ah, uh, per annum. Sometimes they nothing to do. They try to like purposely con you. Ah, uh. they put per month and gone. Ah, uh, so norm. Ah, uh, you have to check what is that. But normally they put per annum. Ah, uh. per annum means per year. And oh, everyone compounded every six months. I send a YouTube link to to everybody. You can see that uh, that's about compound interest. Ah, uh, so in case you need more further explanation, you can look at that. I send you the link there already. 
Okay, compounded every six months. Everyone, look at the formula. Calculate Justin total savings at the at the end of the third year. So it means the total investment, the FDR, it's three years. MV, matured value equals to principal, one plus R over N, then NT. Let's put all the relevant info that you know first. 12,000, you know lah. One plus the rate is what well, it will be 0 0.025. And now, what you're going to put for these few things there? Everyone, let me ask nicely. What is N? Can you try answering it? And then Jingxian, because they put the word compounded, so sure compound ready. Hmm. Uh, the, the word is like very obvious. Huh? They will say, huh? uh, Jinwei, suppose it's correct. You just have to add the word compounded. Yes, Jane, correct. Aina, specific a bit. Nah, specific a bit. I tell you, ah, everyone, the question says compounded every six months. Okay? Tell me, in one year, the bank compounded how many times? Alicia, yes, yes. And you add one more word, in a year. Uh, then your answer is correct. Very good. So I repeat, uh, N, the N formula there, but perfect, Alicia. Okay. So the N over there means uh, compounded how many times in a year? Number of times being compounded. Very good. So every six months, it will be two times in a year. Lah. So I will ask you a few more questions. You all tell me, uh, if I say compounded every month, leh, every month, yeah, 12. Compounded every four months. Three, very good. Compounded by monthly. By monthly means every two, every two, two, uh, two months. Lah. By monthly, it will be six. Okay, it will be six. Okay, so in this case, your answer will be two. Lah. And everyone, fair, ma. do you know why they divide by two or not? Of course, one of it is because of the given, given info like compounded every six months. Uh. And why is it to be fair? The reason being, A, the 2.5 per annum is for one year. Ma. You, you compound every six months. So after six months, uh, you have to start compounding it. But your 2.5% uh, is for one year. You know? That's why they divide by two fair. Ma. So they make it half of it. Uh. If I say compound every three months, you divide by four. So it means you take the 2.5 divide by four times. Huh? Then it becomes three months rate. Huh? So you're going to make it half months rate. Huh? That's why you divide by two. That's the reason why they divide. Uh, then, uh, then the power over here is about N, which is two times with three years. And this is being six. What is the six indicating? The six indicating the total compounded amount throughout the whole investment. Ah, can you see every year you compound two times and you invest for three, three months, uh, three years, sorry. So two times, three, six times uh, you compound. Then that's why the power six is, is to act as a quick calculation for you. Lah. Then you hunt them into your calculator. What's your answer? I will recommend students to do this first. Huh? Calculate this first and then plus one and then power six, then only you times with 12,000. Come go ahead and tell me the Final answer, 12,928.60, 0. 0. that's the answer. So we do one relating to shares and it's about ROI as well, okay? Now, so we do another one in question C. All right, question C. On January dry, <laughs> January already dry. On January dry. Okay, what happened, what it says? Okay, it says, uh, Hanif invested 5,000 units in Amana, in Amana what? Amana Saham Bumi Putra, ASB worth 1.8 per unit for the financial year ending 31, uh, 31st December 2019. ASB paid a dividend of 8%. This one's simple. Can you see one, one, one mark only? So I just quick on uh, 5,000 times with per unit 1.8 
Okay, 1.8. This one is RM. Uh. This one is 5,000 units. And you will get RM 9,000. So the RM 9,000, eventually you have to times with because the dividend paid out rate is 8%. Uh, so times with 0 0.08. So what is the uh, dividend come? Seven hundred and twenty. That's the dividend. Wait, wait, everyone. Is seven hundred twenty the dividend a return to Hanif? Is that a return? Yes, it's a return or something that you receive. You invest something, you want a return. You invest something, you get lost. Then what? No point, Mark. Right not. Uh, so that's a return. Yes. Okay, that's a return. Okay, now the the second one. Sorry, this one second. Huh? On 1st January 2020, it means the next year already, exactly one year, Hanif sold all the shares. Wait. Hanif sold all the shares that he owns at, at price, at a price, at a price of two ringgit per unit. Hey, did Hanif earn something? Originally buy at one ringgit 80 cents, right? And sell it for two ringgit or so can you tell me per unit of profit is how much? Per unit of profit is 20 cents. Correct. So that's a, that's a return. Huh? So the total return, sorry, I say return better. The return equals to RM, RM 0 0.20 times with 5,000 units. The return is RM 1,000. 1,000 return by selling all the given shares. Because they say, sold all the shares already, Mark Reiner. Honey, sold all the shares. Calculate the ROI. Tell me what is the total return. Hmm. I put the formula over here. Total return divided by initial investment times 100%. What is the total return? Ah. Uh. Besides the 1,000 as the return, what else? The 720 dividend, it's also a return because one and two link on. So you have to add the 720. This is the dividend. This is the capital gain. I repeat, uh, the 1,000 is like a capital gain. You buy and you sell. Uh, that's the capital gain. Capital gain. So divide by initial investment, how much? Uh, originally invested how much for Hanif? Yes, 9,000. Then you can get the answer with you. Uh, so 1720 divided by uh, 9,000. And then times 100%. Wow, 19.11%. So everyone, can you see the, 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 the share investment is 19.11%? Okay, ma, worth it. It's still better than FD, right? But FD is like kind of fixed already. And it's like confirmed you get that, that percentage. But for shares, right, there is a risk there. So you have to analyze. You have to really study. Then only you can gain the very high return uh, in the percentage. Okay, so that's about risk. Is your form three um objective related informations that will be too in depth ready. So everyone, I'm gonna stop here today. Um, I believe today class you all gain something. Okay, if you're not so sure about it, you can compile it next week before we start our credit card, as well as some share related information that we have to learn up as well and some loans. Huh? Um, uh, next week we will we will we will discuss that first. Okay. So bye, I will see you next week. Bye.